Testing, testing, <coughs> testing. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna be explaining how my tattoos healed and the setup that I used to record my videos. Our first question is how my tattoos are gonna heal. And the best way that I can answer that is the way I tattoo personally, I am not gonna be talking for other artists or the way they tattoo, it's just my own setup. Is what I like using is solid black ink and uh, true grace, which I just mix white and black. I don't dilute anything. And I, the way I tattoo is I just pack everything. And I'm gonna, <coughs> oh, Dude, don't die on me, bro. <clears throat> uh, and I think the best way that I can explain uh, this question is um, the way I, I'm gonna put it to perspective. A lot of my clients that come in to get a cover up done, they got a tattoo done by uh, their homie. You know, they, they just come in and they say, hey, I got this done with the homie. He didn't have experience, he just wanted to practice, and I just got this done because I was already there. And they come in 10 to 20 years later to get that covered up, and that tattoo looks solid black the lines are still there nothing faded the tribals um i was 17 i was still in high school and one of my buddies had a he told me he had a, an uncle that got a tattoo machine that he was doing free tattoos one of his friends um came out of jail and he had some nice work done on him but somehow he virtued my chest you see it's a lot of mm -hmm. stupid stuff right and it goes all the way up to like right here Ooh, i got this when i was like i'm 39 38 uh -huh. i got this when i was like 18 17 years old 18 so, so it's, it's been, it's been 20, 20 years 20 years That's now imagine what an artist can do that has a lot of experience in applying tattoos. That tattoo, I promise you, it's not going anywhere because the way they know their setup, they know how to apply the tattoo, they know their hand speed, needle depth, uh, all of those little things matter. The best advice that I can give you is that if you're thinking about getting a tattoo, uh, make sure to check out the artist's heel work. And if you see their work in person, even better. Question number two is the setup that I use to record my videos and take pictures. First of all, when it comes down to an iPhone, they're so advanced that you can do everything uh, that you do on a camera on an iPhone. I mean, they have similar qualities. Um, like an iPhone has 120, 120 frames per second. It has 60 frames per second, 4K. You can do so much in an iPhone. But when it comes down to a camera, the only reason that I like using that camera better is the fact that I like having options when it comes down to lenses. I mean, if I wanted to get a micro lens that uh, I wanted to show the needle in action, I can get a lens that can do that. If I wanted to get a, uh, a lens that I can be up close, but still show me the whole entire picture, I can get a 20 millimeter. And I feel like having a camera allows me to control my settings. And I just, ha I just like having those options. Comment down below and let me know what you like using better, either an iPhone or a camera, and tell me your pros and cons about this topic. With that being said, now I'm gonna compare how my tattoos look with my Canon 90D and an iPhone. Now with my Canon 90D, uh, I use uh, a light that my fiance gifted me in Christmas saying the lens that i'm using for this camera is a 20 millimeter with the polarized lens that goes on it at the same size 20 millimeters and i'm going to compare it to my iphone that i'm not going to be using any polarized filters no special lighting just the camera's phone the phone's camera <laughs> the phone's camera <laughs> i'm just going to be using the phone's camera uh i have seen a couple comments on my videos uh saying that um that because I use a special setup with special lighting and polarized filters and that my tattoos look different than what they look like in, in person, which I understand that concern. Nowadays, we have so many applications or apps that uh, allow us to alter the, the pictures and videos. And yeah, I mean, it's becoming a concern in the industry because now some people doubt that a tattoo looks the way it looks. And it definitely hurts other artists that put a lot of effort into their tattoos and for somebody to question their, um, their work, it's de it definitely hurts, you know? Um, so definitely I feel like this topic is really important to address. So yeah, let's get to it. 
Okay, so here what I'm using is my Canon 90D with a polarized uh, lens. And as you can see, this tattoo healed up the way I wanted it to. I use true blacks and true grays. So basically what the polarized filter does, it deflects the light from the middle of the tattoo to none. So basically the, the whole purpose of it is for it to just show the skin or the tattoo. Nothing special about it. So here I'm gonna turn it and you see that? There's a glare in the middle of the tattoo, which definitely affects the way the tattoo looks now. Because in the middle, all you see is just a white glare. You see that? So all it does, it, uh, it deflects the light. So as soon as you turn it, you see that? So now there's no glare in the middle. Now you're able to see every detail. All the white highlights are still... Are you hungry dog? I can, I can hear your stomach. <laughs> so uh, this is already what? Maybe like a, almost a month healed the bottom of it and if you've seen this video comment down below let me know what you think about this video all freehand and um, the top here we have the chimpanzee that we did at the body art expo if you haven't checked out the video check it out it's really cool very informative um, so yeah this is already two months healed and it's perfect I mean the black still there solid you know there's not much I can say so now I'm just gonna record a couple shots making it look cool with some with some intense music so it can look more entertaining. <laughs> Ready? So now I'm gonna start recording with my iPhone and show you guys the way my tattoos look on my iPhone. Nothing special, just my, just the camera's phone. Oh, the phone's camera. Oh my God, <laughs> the phone's camera. So here it is and record. Dang. All right, here you go. <laughs> so switch over to my iPhone. So this is the way it looks. See that? The blacks are still there. There's a little bit of glare in the middle, not too much. But yeah, I mean, you can tell that details bro solid nice um but yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean other than that i feel like it's uh it's very important to talk about this topic because there is a lot of um there's a lot of tricks and softwares out there uh at this time where you're able to you know adjust the videos and alter the pictures and it, it gives a, a false um, perception of how tattoos supposed to look. It was very important for me to talk about this topic because I put a lot of effort into my tattoos and I wouldn't want anybody to doubt my work and the way it looks in person, right? Like it, it did not, yeah. nothing faded. Yeah. Solid blacks are still there. The true grays are still there. White highlights are glowing, you know? If you are looking into booking an appointment with me, follow these simple steps. Send an email with the concept that you have in mind, placement, and if you're local or out of state. Include as many details as you can. The more information we have, the easier it is to book. Please understand that due to high volume of emails, we are not able to select every single inquiry and we ask for everybody to be patient. So send me your craziest ideas and I can't wait to tattoo you. Peace.